All right, we are going to be working on sort two, adding ing to words with vowel consonant and vowel consonant consonant patterns. So we're actually going to be doing um, two different sorts with these same words. The first way is we're going to be looking at the base words, because if you notice, each word has a part. We have the base word, and then we have when we add the ing to it. Again, a base word and adding the ing to it. So we are first going to look and sort them based on their vowel pattern. So if their base word um, has a vowel consonant or a vowel consonant consonant. When we do that, we're going to match up our base words with the ing words. Then after that, we're going to look at that final letter in our base word and see if it gets doubled before adding ing or if it does nothing. And we'll look and see what happens. So let's look at the word get. So we're going to find the vowel, which is the E, and then we're going to look and see what is after it, and it's just a consonant. So when you sort this, you'll start with get and put it under B, C. And then next to it, you will get, you will put getting. Now let's look at the word F. So in my notebook, I'll show you first, if I have my sort to adding ing two words with bc and bcc patterns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bc and bcc. Now I'm going to put underneath here I'm going to put get and then getting. Okay, I'm put both of them underneath here. Now I'm going to look at ask. I'm going to find my vowel, which is the A, and then I have a consonant and a consonant after. So ask is going to go under the vowel consonant consonant. So I'll put ask and then I'm going to find the ing form. And I'm going to write asking. Okay? And then I'm going to keep doing this. I'll try and I'll do another one. So I look at swim. I'm going to find the vowel, which is the I, and after it is the consonant. Okay? And then I want to find the ing form, which is swimming, which is right here. So I'm going to add swim and then swimming. To my sort. Then I'm going to try, I'm going to do one more. So if I look at the word yell, I find my vowel, which is the E, and look after it, I have an L and an L. So vowel, consonant, consonant. So I'm going to put that under my vowel, consonant, consonant category. So I have yell and then yelling, which was right here. Okay, so I'm going to continue that with the rest of my work. Then I want to look at my words, and I'm going to sort by double or nothing, and that's what we're looking at is the last letter in the base word. What happens to it before adding ing? So if I look, I'm going to look at this at the word get. I'm going to look at that T because it's the last letter of the base word. And I'm going to look what happens when I add the ing. I have one T here, but now I have two T, so that T is getting doubled. So after I do my VC, VCC sort, I'm going to create another one that says double or nothing. And this refers to that base word or that last letter in the base. So get to getting, it doubles. So I'm going to write both words underneath the sort again. Okay? I'm going to look at ask and asking. So if I look at that last letter, that K, and then when I add ING, it's just one K. It's not double. So it does nothing. I need this. Okay. I'm going to look at my swim it, swimming and yell and yelling. So I'm going to look at my M because it's the last letter in swim. And then I'm going to look what happens when I add the ING. So I have I'll look at that, double M's. So 
swim and swimming is going to go under double. I'm going to look at yell and yelling. So I have this last L here. Now this one's tricky because it looks like I'm doubling it. But remember, I had an LL, so I have to go to the end of my base word, which is this L, that second one. And is that one being doubled? No, it's not being doubled. It looks like it's doubled, but because I have two L's in my base word here, yell right there is my base word, and I'm not adding an extra L. So yell and yelling actually goes under nothing. So now I'm seeing a pattern and I'm wondering if it's going to continue. I notice when I have a single vowel and a single consonant, at least in these two, that's when I'm adding my I, my doubling it and then adding ing. But if I have a vowel followed by two consonants right now, I'm noticing I don't do anything to it. I'm very curious if that pattern is going to continue through the whole sort. So I want you to finish sorting your words. Remember you're doing a double sort, so you're looking at the vowel pattern first and then looking to see what happens to that last letter in the base word. So do your sort in your notebooks and then submit it on Schoology.